Hello, beautiful, enlightened souls. I hope that you are doing well, staying safe and healthy. So today is Sunday, August the 13th. And we're just wrapping up the 888 Lionsgate portal. And I just cannot sleep. Downloads are coming through. Messages needs to be conveyed. And it's very important that this message comes out. And to do God's will, I ask God and the universe and all of our angelic angels to assist and guide us with what needs to come forth. And I was guided to this step and there were three messages that came out for us. And I will read to you the messages and then I will go into further depths into fulfilling God's will and providing you with some information. So the first message is the Ace of Swords. A pregnant woman sits resting on the ground. A beetle hovers in front of her. A sword has been placed in the ground with its point down. The Ace of Swords challenges us to wake up and use our minds. The beetle trusts the woman not to kill it. The pumpkin is fully grown and the seeds harvested from it will help to grow more. These cards help us to understand the value of new ideas and the beginning of new projects. The meanings. A start of a new project, the initial spark of the intellect, mental clarity. Our next message. The Two of Swords. A woman lays on the head of her elephant, holding her swords out to protect the creature. They blend together, almost creating a new creature. The two of swords test our will to decide. Will the two companions fight a foe or will they flee when forced with the danger? The swords act as a weapon as well as a defensive barrier to the unknown. The blending of a woman in with her elephant gives her the element of surprise. This card teaches us that every choice has a consequence and we need to defend that decision. Meanings, a choice must be made, protection, defense. And our last message, the King of Wands. The Sphinx King flies through the air, ready to take action. He holds his hand wide open as if he's ready to receive the power due to him. A hand with an uh, sensor hovers just below him. The king closes his eyes. He does not need to see where he is going because he acts on instinct. He wears the head of the Egyptian god Horus, who guides his travel. His wand is curved and can be used as a hook as well as a weapon. The candles below burns help to focus the creative will of this king. And this card tells us that we have everything we need to put our plans into motion. Meanings, action on will alone, strong-minded personality, domination. So this falls in line to the messages that I've been receiving in regards to our beloved Twin Flames, the 144,000, whose purpose and mission is to rise up at this point in time. We're being called. You're getting the messages. You're getting the calling. You're getting the initiation. You know how that's like, and you know what it feels, and the truth of the matter is. So please rise up because we do not have any more time to waste. 
this is a critical point for us. This is a critical moment and mission why we're here on earth at this point in time. So please, this is to reach as many of the 144,000 of God's spiritual warriors to stand up and stand strong and stand firm. Face our darkness, heads on. Conquer it. Get to the other side with grace and love. The twin flames of each of the 12,000 tribute nations. We are called to rise up at this point in time. During this great tribulations of what the Lord is going through. We're here to assist, to ascend, and to help others awaken and ascend. For when the time comes, for when God comes, we will stand strong, firm, and mighty with God. Not only just us. You see, this is how powerful and how important Twin Flames' mission on earth at this time is meant to be a higher calling and a higher purpose for God, for you, for each other, for humanity, for the entire planet. This is not a simple task. This is not child's play. We've got to do our inner work. We've got to do what it is that we've been called to do. To make things right. To balance our lives. As mentioned before, to face our fears and to move forward with God's unconditional love. Because we can do it. We hold the twin flame template within us and once you step into that heart space once everything comes into balance from your root foundation all the way to your heart all the way up to your crown and through your essence you are being guided you are being protected. What I'm channeling through right now and in previous hours, I cannot tell you just how open my heart was, how deep felt gratitude I am for each and one of you because I know how this journey is. So as twin flames, the ancient god and goddesses, kings and queens, the angelics, we're here to help awaken others. We're here to help awaken others, clear out karmas from our lineage, from prior to our birth, we're doing it for our family bloodlines. We're doing it for humanity bloodlines. We're doing it for past and current and future generations. <clears throat> and excuse me because I know there are forces that doesn't want this information to come out. I mean, I'm just having to clear my throat. So I am pushing forward with this message 
You see, as we push forward, we're being guided, we're being protected. There is nothing that anyone can do to hurt or to harm us to bring that information, that truth and that knowledge and that awareness to humanity. We are being protected even if we feel like we're not good enough or we're not that strong, yes, you are. You are meant to go out into the world. You are meant to spread and share the message of God's unconditional love. You are meant to help others to clear their own bloodlines, to reactivate in them everything that they have and everything that they need to move forward in life and making good choices and being prepared and ready to stand with God as well. When God comes and place judgment on each and every one of us, on humanity. And such, such great news you know, God in the universe is saying that everyone is working together as a team. Everyone is coming together as a team. Rising above it all, through the chaos, through the darkness, we need to anchor in God's unconditional love and glorious angelic light into this universe. And we're doing it. So all of you are being called now. The God and goddesses, kings and queen, twin flames of the 12,000 nations, you are being called. We are being called now. We will deliver what God's will is onto humanity and onto planet Earth. We've been working behind the scenes. We've been awakening. We've been... I just can't tell you how much, how important our divine will, divine mission it is here on earth at this point in time. Clearing out traumas, clearing out shadows, doing the hard inner work, bringing in the fourth of God's truth of love and light and helping others become aware and awaken so that they too can ascend, so that they too can clear out that for their current generations and future generations to come. So more and more lightness and love will come into this world, this planet. And when the time comes, we will rise up with God not only just the 144,000 of us, we will rise up with multitudes. So this is our divine soul mission. This is what it's been channeling through. This is specifically needed to be shared. Um, so I just hope that, you know, it reaches out to those that needs to hear this message. And let's rise up and let's do this. Let's uh, complete God's will and let's do our mission. May you be so grateful to God and blessed so that you can be a blessing to others.